We're going to start tonight in Cedar Hill, where a violent attack led to police shooting a suspect there. Our JD Miles has been at the scene through the afternoon and into this night tonight, joining us live. What things look like right now? Doug, Cedar Hill Police and the Dallas County Sheriff's Department are among the law enforcement agencies still out here after nearly 10 hours trying to answer a lot of questions about a violent episode played out in public. As many as five Cedar Hill police officers fired into a car of a wanted man on Beltline Road just after 1230. Charlie Walker says he saw it happen. And when they start shooting, I start crawling back into the store here where I work at. While witnesses like Walker took cover, Cedar Hill police were taking down a gunman who they say minutes earlier had shot and wounded a physician at the Methodist Clinic just down the road. Police Chief Eli Reyes says it started just afternoon with a call about a man with a gun at the clinic. At 1218, dispatch heard a gunshot. The chief says when officers arrived, they found a physician on the ground and wounded. They also saw the suspected shooter leave in a black sedan, but it wrecked into another vehicle about a block away. At 1222, the suspect vehicle was involved in a crash in the 700 block of East Beltline. There were multiple officers on scene of the crash. They observed the suspect inside the vehicle with a long gun and the officers discharged their firearms. The suspect was taken to a hospital in critical condition, while the traumatic scene led some nearby businesses to close for the day. Authorities removed the long gun found on the suspect and have spent the hours since trying to piece together the motive behind the shooting at the clinic, as well as the police response that left the suspect's car riddled with bullet holes. Okay, there are multiple body camera and in-car videos that will be reviewed as part of this investigation. However, they have not been reviewed yet. Now, all of the officers involved have been placed on administrative leave, according to the chief. We are still waiting to learn the names of the suspect and the victim. That victim, by the way, fortunately was in stable condition at last check. Live in Cedar Hill tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas. J.D., thank you for taking us inside what happened.